everybody. I wanted to do a quick walkthrough video and demo on the file templates and settings. If you've spent any time working with the Morpheus platform, you've kind of seen file templates around and you might have even seen the, the settings option on your instance types. We wanted to kind of just give a quick walkthrough on how that all ties together. So what we have on screen right now is an in Nginx instance type with a couple of layouts just as a default kind of look at this right so we've got a single node with a single um node type in it we've also got a three node layout and uh each three nodes inside of it so let's say you've got this nginx config right and you have file templates you want to lay down on your server so you'd actually go you know you got your index.html and you want this to be laid down here at provisioning time and you've got you know some configuration files you want to be laid down at provisioning time as well so the index you're going to want on all three here you're going to want it on your single node maybe your blah.config file is maybe it's for a database maybe it's not for nginx whatever it just needs to be laid down across all of these servers so they know how to communicate with each other so what we're going to go through is how to set this whole thing up and then uh, as show you how to actually edit these files post provision. So I'm going to go over to my Morpheus appliance now. And we're going to go over to library templates and go into file templates. And what you'll see here is that we have three different files here. We've got this OpenSSL file. I mean, we had a lot of files, but the three we're going to be concerned with are the ones that are prefixed with lab. So this OpenSSL config file, this is a configuration file to perform a certificate creation for a self-signed cert on the Nginx server. So set this configuration file so when I run the call to create it, it'll have the instance name in there. It's gonna grab this instance name from the deployment and put it directly in the SSL uh, config file. Uh, we're gonna have this site config, right? And now we're gonna get our server name using another Morpheus variable. So instance name is gonna give the name of the overall instance. Server.name is actually gonna give the host name of the node itself. So when you have like three nodes in a single instance type, you wanna get the node name by going to the server.name. Now, if it's a one-to-one, -one, you can use instance.name. And then our index.html. This is just where I'm setting up to be able to put a little table together on the splash screen for Nginx to show the differences in uh, each of the nodes as we make some changes on the files. So we're gonna go to our library blueprints tab now, and we're gonna go into our instance type that we're built out. This is our Nginx web cluster. And I'm gonna show you a few things in here. We're gonna go into edit, and it's just a basic setup, right? For any type of instance type, just like you would see just pay attention here. We've got this enable settings checkbox checked. We're gonna come back to why that's important in a little bit. In our layout, we'll click into this guy and you'll see we've just got a workflow in here to set it up and it's a couple of Ansible tasks to do a few things. Um, enabled scaling so that when the instance hits a certain threshold of memory utilization or CPU utilization, it will actually scale it out and then our node here. And then on the node itself, you will see we've got service ports here for putting it behind a load balancer. And then we've actually got those three file templates attached in the node type. And we've got three copies of the node being deployed out. So when we looked at the, the whiteboard, we had three nodes, but this is actually a single node type being deployed three times. So it's gonna deploy three VMs just using this singular node and it's all going to be the exact same configuration with them minus the the server name so i'm going to go to provisioning instances now and i've already deployed this out just so we don't have to wait i've got this nginx demo we'll go ahead and scroll down here and, and we'll go look at the history of this and show you know here's all the stuff that's been done uh did some ansible tasks got the self-signed cert and installed Nginx just with some simple Ansible stuff. But the more important thing here is the settings tab. Now, if you haven't enabled or checked that checkbox for setting, settings enabled on the instance type, this tab does not show up. We're gonna go ahead and click on it and now you can see the files that we're looking at. So all of those templates now live here where we can modify 
and push them out to the server. So do a little preview here and you see that it changed that Morpheus variable into what the server is going to be, right? So there's the template and then the preview. Same thing down here, you'll be able to preview what the file's actually going to look like on the system. One thing to note here is that this all dropdown allows you to select either all systems within this instance type, all of the nodes, all VMs, or individual ones that you want to actually deploy your changes to. But I'm going to select all because I want it to be showable on every single instance here. So we're going to go and we're going to click into each of these. And we're also going to click into the load balancer here. And we're just going to show which one was the load balancer. Okay, so here's demo 01, demo 02, and demo 03. And here is the load balancer. And you can see that in the load balanced one, I don't have sticky session set. So every time I click refresh, it's just sending me to a brand new server every time. Okay, so we're gonna go back over here and I'm just gonna make a little change in my Nginx doc, right? So in the head, in the title here, we got the welcome to, and it's giving us the, the server name for each of the different servers. So this is, you know, node one, node two, node three. And then the load balancer will actually, that one also updates every time you refresh. Um, but I'm just going to change this out to just say, you know, welcome, welcome to my server. And I want to go apply this, just save the settings. And what's going to happen is now Morpheus is going to talk to this system over the agent, actually all of the systems over the agent bus and update this file locally on the system. So after a minute, we'll be able to refresh and you can see, welcome to my server, welcome to my server and welcome to my server. So what this is useful for is if you have users in your organization that need to be able to deploy things out and maybe make some changes to the systems, but you don't want them getting into the box itself. You don't want to give them console access. You don't want them to SSH in. You can enable settings on these instance types and now people can come in and modify the files as needed. You know, and even something as simple as doing a database uh, configuration, right? Increasing the timeout on something, simple things like that for configurations on the app. It's really, uh, it's a pretty, pretty powerful tool. So I just wanted to show that to everybody, you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to hit us up if there's anything else you'd like to see. Some of these little hidden gems that people might not know about. Have a good one.